Welcome to Fly Tag AZ and your axe throwing adventure. Today we're going to teach you a little bit about safety, how to throw a hatchet, and what to do in your lane. So the very first thing when you come into Flag Tag AZ, take a look at your shoes. You have to be wearing closed toed shoes if you don't have any. We have some at the front desk. We have our safety crocs. Feel free to borrow these and after you've used them, put them in the empty bucket so that we can clean them and get them ready for the next guest. Next thing, when you pick up a hatchet, do not check the blades of the hatchets. They're plenty sharp enough for what we're going to do today. The next thing to be aware of is be aware of your space. You do not want anybody inside of your throwing area in our 14 lanes. That is the yellow between the yellow line and the red line. So do not be in somebody's area when they are throwing. Next thing, make sure you stay behind the red line at all times when you're throwing. If you cross the front of the red line, A, that's bad for points, but really most importantly, it is unsafe. Additionally, do not hand a hatchet to anybody. If you need to give a hatchet to somebody, set it down and then let them pick it up or let them go to the target and retrieve it from the target. There are three ways to throw a hatchet here at Flag Tag AEZ. There's a one-handed throw, a two-handed throw, and an underhanded throw. For a one-handed throw, you're going to pull it back behind your shoulder blade, take that step, let it slide out of your hands, and follow through. For a two-handed throw, stack your hands or wrap your hands, pull it back between the shoulder blades, take that step, let it slide out of your hands and follow through as well. For an underhanded throw, you want to pinch it between your thumb and your middle finger, your forefinger down the front, pull it back, blade towards the target, and let it slide out of your hands and into the target. I'm now going to demonstrate all three of these techniques. For a one-handed throw, pull it back behind your shoulder blade, let it slide out of your hands and right into the target. For a two-handed throw, what you want to do is you want to hold on to the very bottom of the hatchet. I like to wrap my left hand around my right hand. I am right-handed. If I was left-handed, I would do it exactly the opposite. You're going to pull it back between your shoulder blades, take that little step, and let it slide out of your hands and into the target as well. Now for an underhanded throw. This is our trickiest throw. Pinch it between your thumb and your middle finger, forefinger down the front, pull it back behind your knee, let it slide out of your hands, and into the target like that. At all times when you're throwing, you should be behind the front of the red line. That's for two reasons. First, for safety, and the second, for points. If you do cross the front of the red line, you get zero points for that particular throw. Let's talk a little bit now about our points and how all of that works. When you are throwing, if you hit the red dot, that is worth six points. The next ring is five points, four points, three points, two points, and one point. On any particular throw, you can call a kill shot up to twice per game. And if you hit it and call it right or left, you get eight points for that particular throw. Let's talk about a couple of edge cases. So if you have your hatchet and you hit it here, so it's not breaking this line, that would be zero points. This would be one point, two points, three points, and four points. So what you're looking for to determine what your score is going to be, let's look, use the bullseye as an example. If you see red on both sides of the blade, that would count as six points. For the kill shot, same thing if you see blue on both sides of the blade, and the same thing on these lines. If you see both sides of the blade crossing over a line, you will get the higher value in that point. Remember it is 10 scored throws, a couple of things. If you hit a bullseye at any time, you can get yourself a wristband. We'll have some wristbands near the lane, so feel free to grab one if you hit a bullseye or a named kill shot. They say I kick axe at flag tag AZ, and you surely do. The other thing, if you can throw a regular waddle game and score more than 50 points, you can write your name on the wall over there. Let's discuss the flow of a game here in our shared axe swing lanes. First off, there's a yellow line. Please stay behind the yellow line if you're not throwing. When you are throwing, we want you to take your hatchet, you're gonna throw it down range. Once it sticks to it, you're gonna figure out what your score is. Write down your score here on a score sheet or on a scoreboard or give your score to a scorekeeper. The next person should go up and get the hatchet and whoever had just thrown should be vacating the area and making room for them. As always, if you have any questions, please be sure to ask an axe coach or any of our staff members. Do not start throwing a hatchet until you work with an axe coach. That is very important. We'll make sure you can throw safely. Thank you very much for coming to Flag Tag AZ. Have a great and groovy day.